Mr. Speaker, in April 2019, I spoke to the residents of Alexandra about the challenges that they faced. I made reference to a program for the whole of South Africa to build one million houses. It is quite clear from the recording of what I said that these houses were not just for Alexandra. There is simply, there is simply not enough space in Alexandra to be able to develop and even approach the scale that would amount to one million. Housing in Alexandra has long been a challenge. Many people continue <clears throat> to move to Alexandra due to its proximity to economic opportunities. This strains existing resources and increases housing demand. There is lack of available land for development in and around Alexandra itself. This is made worse by the land invasions and the growth of informal settlements. Under these conditions, the different spheres of government are working together to address the housing challenges in Alexandra. Plans are underway to build approximately 40,000 houses in Frankenwald and in Linksfield, benefiting the residents in the area and others in Alexandra. One of the urgent tasks is to relocate approximately 8,000 households who are in the flood lines or plains of the Jeske River. An enumeration process to establish which household will be affected has been completed. Various land parcels have been identified for relocation. Studies on the suitability of the land have been completed on secured land portions. One project that is known as the Linksfield Development has secured township proclamations for a proposed 10,000 units. The costing and engineering approvals have been obtained. Construction of social housing and open market units have also started. Another project, the Franken World development is currently in the township proclamation phase and it is projected to yield 30,000 units. The government is actively working to unblock and complete various stalled housing projects in Alexandra. Progress has been made on projects like Helen Joseph Hostel and Kwanobuche Hostel which with designs, approvals, and beneficiary administration processes that are underway. The city of Johannesburg has obtained an evacuation order to relocate households in flood-prone areas. Environmental assessments are underway to identify affected households and efforts are being made to secure land for relocation. Units have been constructed in other smaller projects like the Marlboro Gardens, the Marlboro Second Avenue, and Madala Hostel. The specific challenges in Alexandra create a complex environment for housing development. These challenges require a multifaceted approach as well as collaboration between various stakeholders to overcome them. Now progress is being made and government remains committed to delivering housing solutions and improving the living conditions under which our people live in Alexander. I thank you, Honorable Deputy Speaker. 
Before I give the Honourable Malema the opportunity to do the supp first supplementary question, there has been a request from members in the House that um, please make sure that if on your devices where uh, you listen to the interpreting, um, if you're not using it, please turn down the volume because we can hear uh, the sound the whole time. That is a request from members in the chamber. Um, so the first supplementary question will then be asked by the Honourable Malema. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Speaker. Uh, I can see uh, those guys who are working on your eyes are doing a good job because there is some improvement. Uh, President, it is leadership to admit when you have made a mistake. You can't come here and say you never promised the people of Alexander one million houses. You said so. You said you are going to build one million houses for the people of Alexander. And knowing you being a legally trained person, like you said, you are not an illiterate who just speaks without knowing what he's speaking about. And being a president before you take a stage, your back office would have given you the necessary information which is relevant to this place where you are. You are. So it is important that today you admit that you made a mistake because those people are dying. Uh, some of them stayed at Straitland uh, and uh, as a result, that land is not for human settlement. And when you created that impression, a lot of expectation was made. We're dealing with human beings here who have got feelings. And when a president speaks, they've got their expectation, you know, high because they know it's not a lesser authority speaking. Our fighter was killed, Moshem Patele, in Alexander, fighting for people to occupy the containers, rightful people to occupy the containers because of that daily struggle of housing in Alex. Now we've lost our honorary Commissar, during the battle for occupation of these containers. In his honor, and in the honor of the poor of the poorest, people who are sleeping with the rats, people who are staying in places where there is no proper sanitation and water, in their honor, I think it is a correct thing to say, I'm sorry, I've made a miscalculation, and I said one million houses instead of 40,000 uh, houses. Because to say you have not said it, you are now becoming a professional politician who can just say this today and turn against it tomorrow and his business as usual. So Honourable with Balibar, little resource left, uh, with the little numbers that you have now, maybe this will help you to regain some confidence. Alexander, thank you. The Honourable the President. Mushavi, let me start by extending my condolences for the passing of Mpatele. I had wanted to call you, but I then got distracted by a whole number of things. I felt very sad uh, when that incident happened because uh, Mpatele was an important leader in your party. So my condolences. In addressing <clears throat> precisely the point that you are making, we took care to go back to that recording and listen to it. And, and I had a number of people in my office listening to it and interpreting it because and to the extent Honorable Malema, that uh, it created this impression that I said a million houses for Alexander, which objectively would not be possible anyway, because we just don't have the land there to build the million houses. And to the extent that it created that impression, yes, I will say I apologize for having made people believe that I meant for Alexander. What I really meant was, yes, we would want to build a million houses for the whole country. And as it turned out, of course, we, did, we never really reached even that target because of a whole number of issues. We succeeded in building 
During the MTSF, we succeeded in building 240,000 houses, which is way below what we had wanted. And there are many reasons around the country why we have not been able to reach our targets. And these are things that we do need to correct because in some cases there's been underspending. Money has been laid out and the entities that are supposed to build those houses often do not do so and the money is returned. <laughs> and the issue of Alexander is quite complex and has been so for years. And we've had a number of initiatives that were put in place, but I do believe that Honorable Malema, with some of the initiatives that I've spoken about, uh, we will be able to make progress. The living conditions of our people in Alexandra are really, truly appalling. And I should say that it's not only Alexandra, it is in a number of informal settlements, which one sees as one goes around to visit our people. And you can see that they live with rats, they live where there are no facilities, and this is, imposes a huge responsibility on us as government to improve the living conditions of our people. This is precisely what we are committed to doing as the seventh administration, and we will work day in and day out to make sure that we give our people living conditions that are conducive to the living of human beings. So we will be focusing on that. But thank you very much for having raised the issue of the living conditions of the people of Alexander. I take it seriously, and I'm glad that you also take it seriously. Thank you very much.